Component information can be reused by cutting or copying and pasting components within an existing protocol. The standard Windows keyboard shortcuts can be used to do this. Control plus X cuts, Control plus C copies, and Control plus V pastes. There are buttons on the standard toolbar for these functions as well. You can also right-click on a component and select an option from the component menu that appears. Where the component will be pasted depends on what is selected in your protocol. If a component is selected, the pasted component will be branched off the selected component. If a single pipe between two components is selected, the component will be pasted between the two existing components. If the two pipes in a branch are selected, which can be done by clicking on one and holding down the Shift key while clicking on the second, the component will be pasted before the branch. As you have observed, numerous input pipes and output pipes are allowed to flow the data into and out of a single component. Connections can also be made by dragging from a fail or pass port of one component to the input port of a second component. Double-clicking a connection toggles between the pass and fail ports. If you want to remove a pipe, Select it, then cut or delete it using your keyboard, the standard toolbar, or the Edit menu. Note the Edit menu also includes copy and paste commands. The pipe has been removed. There may be times when you wish to disable a component in a pipeline. Right-clicking on a component brings up the component menu. From here, you can choose Disable to access the Disable options. Once a component is disabled, the option to enable it becomes available on this menu as well. You can also select a component, then press F10 on your keyboard to toggle through the options. We'll use F10 to show the different disabled states and review what each does. This is the pass data state. Data passes through the component and out the passport as if the component was not in the pipeline. The fail data state passes data through the component and out the fail port as if the component was not in the pipeline. In the halt data state, data reaches the component and proceeds no further. The component does not operate on the data. The last state to be toggled is enabled. 